two bombs left within the past weeks at two religious landmarks. The first at a veteran's memorial bearing a cross. The second at a prayer chapel, the bomb found after a fire started there. This is an issue that now everyone is sort of involved in. World News columnist Thomas Moriarty says he got a mysterious letter in the mail, a simple typed P.O. box on the front, a letter on the inside that blew him away. I just kind of quickly Googled it before I opened it, and it said the House of Prayer LLC, which is the nonprofit that owns the prayer chapel in downtown Coos Bay. This is the world's online video of that very same chapel where an improvised explosive device was dismantled by federal agents now involved just last week. So the letter basically said that this group calling themselves the Veterans United for Non-Religious Memorials uh, had placed the explosives there as a warning to the city of Coos Bay uh, to try and spur them to take action and remove the cross. And that's not all. In the same letter, the group claims responsibility for the bombing of the dedicated memorial in question on August 22nd. Their issue is the cross on top of that memorial on public land. Also addressed in the letter are seven city council members, including the mayor and the city manager. The threats in the letter obviously extend now beyond just these memorial sites. They're making threats against churches in general for people who you know, may not even have been involved in this controversy at all. While police have released a sketch of the person they think is responsible, answers to who wrote the letter evade them, even with the help of the FBI. The source of the letters remain anonymous. The person who wrote them is promising further violence, leaving residents of Coos Bay on edge, and everyone asking who is this group and why are they doing this. They want the cross removed from Ingus Park immediately. At least one of those answers are clear today. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.